Sharing content in a conference room has always been an expensive task. Running cables from the display into the wall, down to the floor, under the floor, back up into the table, and leaving a mess all over the table is a thing of the past. So are these expensive wireless sharing solutions that cost thousands of dollars and promise wireless sharing, but you still have to track down a dongle and plug it into your computer. In this video, we're going to talk about Zoom Room's direct sharing with proximity detection. It's an awesome feature that you definitely need to know about. So the first thing I want to go over with you is the traditional wireless sharing that Zoom has built in. They have direct sharing without proximity detection, which is what they've always had um, as long as they've had wireless sharing. It's basically you have to be able to identify a sharing key that's on screen, open up your Zoom client, hit share, type in that key, and then it shares. And that's great. That's a great wireless solution. But we want something that's a little easier for our end users, something they don't really have to go in and, and do that kind of work. But let's go ahead and show you that first just so that you know what that looks like. So what we're looking at here is my Zoom client uh, on the right hand side. And on the left hand side, you can see my Zoom room setup. Up here in the right hand corner, we can see the sharing key. So if over here on the Zoom client, I hit our share screen button, ID or a sharing key. Now I could type in the meeting ID if I know where to find that, or I could just type in this sharing key share the screen and bam now you can see i'm sharing screen over here on my zoom room and that's great there's nothing wrong with that but we want something a little bit easier for our users right so i'm going to go ahead and stop sharing now mm -hmm. and what i'm going to show you next over here on our screen this again is our zoom room controller this is a logitech tap system i'm going to show you how to enable proximity detection so we go down here on the left hand side and we go into settings and it's right there. Proximity detection, share content to a zoom room via ultrasonic proximity detection. Before I turn that on, what does that mean? Ultrasonic proximity detection is basically your speakers for your conference room system are emitting an ultrasonic frequency that then tell your zoom client where to find the room that you're in. It, it's essentially going to share that sharing key with your zoom client, with your laptop where it's emitting out the speakers and your laptop's microphone, which has to be enabled, can't be muted, picks that up and automatically detects it. So you don't have to type anything in. So let's go ahead and we're going to enable proximity detection. Okay, let's go back. Now, here's our Zoom client once again. We want to share our screen. We know that the speakers are now emitting that sharing key and we're going to hit share screen and see if it pops up on our Zoom room or if it still asks us for a sharing key. It automatically knows we don't have to type anything in. Bam, it's on screen. We're sharing. So before I let you go, I wanted to show you how to do this at an account level. So here you can see I'm logged into Zoom. I've already gone down into room management and Zoom rooms under admin. And now I'm going to click on Zoom Rooms Account Settings. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. I'm going to click on Meeting. And then I'm going to scroll down until I find the section that talks about proximity. So I'm just going to go ahead and cheat code and bring me straight to it. So there it is. Automatic direct sharing using proximity, ultrasonic proximity signal. And we're going to make sure it's turned on. And we're going to go ahead and lock it on so that all of our rooms have proximity sharing. I do want to go ahead and make a few tech notes about this solution. The first being that this is a network based sharing solution. That means your users will need to be on the same network in order for it to work. This also means that random users can't just walk in and share if they're not on your network. The second point I wanted to make note of it is if proximity fails, there is a fallback feature in the zoom client. It doesn't just not work. So if for whatever reason your user's laptop can't detect the proximity signal, 
the desktop client will then ask for the sharing key or meeting ID. So even if the proximity fails, it's not a complete failure. The third and final point is more of a feature that I missed in this video, and that is echo prevention. A common problem in conference rooms is that people leave their speakers on, which then loops into the microphone of the room, back out the speaker, the laptop, and then it just kind of cycles that, creating this awful echo. Echo prevention uh, is a feature built in so that the client will actually mute your laptop speakers so that that doesn't happen uh, if you're using proximity-based sharing. So to recap in this video, first we talked about Zoom Rooms direct share without proximity detection, that is going in and finding a share key and typing that into your Zoom client. Then we talked about what proximity detection is how to enable it, and then we demonstrated the Zoom Room Direct Share with Proximity Detection. Finally, to wrap the video up, we went over the administrative account controls on how to enable Direct Share with Proximity Detection on all of your account's Zoom Rooms. If you found this video useful, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, hit subscribe, hit notification, and also if you have any requests for other videos, please let me know in the comments, or email me, or visit me on my blog at colla.blog. Thank you.